What's up everybody out there in YouTube land? Wrath2501 here. Okay guys, now one of the things you may notice right off the bat is this red mark on my nose. For those of you who don't watch my main channel, yeah, I got a little bit of an injury there. Kind of hurts. but So it's going to be here for a while. So don't worry about it. Um, it's not a rash or anything. It just, it's an injury. It hurts. Alright, so... Uh, this is a horror story by D.N. Bray or Dun Bray. Now, this is The Shadow. Okay, now you have my attention. Alright, so we're going to get more and more spooky month stuff, you know, going on here as uh, Halloween approaches. <laughs> Alright, so let's go. The Shadow knows. Nineteen-year-old single child Damian Andrews would drive directly from campus after his last class on Friday to his job at a gas station for six hours. No way in hell he's sixteen. Was done, he'd go back to his parents' house. Usually his parents weren't home on weekend nights, as they were the ones who were more often out drinking. Nice. Damian pulled into the empty driveway, and as expected, everything was dark in the house. He needed to put his bike that was still in his trunk back into the shed in the backyard. Why is this so bike in the trunk? The bike from the trunk of his truck and rode it down the pavement truck. past the fence and to the shed. When he shut the shed door, he noticed the bathroom light upstairs in the house was on now. He didn't remember noticing the bathroom light being on when he passed the side of the house. Somebody's so he taking a that piss. Maybe one of his parents stayed home for the night. Damien entered the house through the back door and as he opened his mouth, wanted to call for one of his parents. Something deep down told him not to. Damien went up the half flight of stairs from his den to the midsection of the house. He looked up the short stairway to the upstairs and saw a light creeping into the hallway through the closed bathroom oh, door. Oh. So somebody was in there. He went upstairs calling out mom and dad. There were no responses, but he was in very close range of the bathroom now, which made it odd. He approached the bathroom door, again calling out mom and dad. No response. Damien figured maybe his mom was in the bathtub with earbuds in or something. The door was locked, so one of them had to be in there. When the phone rang, he went downstairs to answer it, to find out it was his dad calling, checking in to make sure Damien made it home okay. His dad sounded drunk as usual per Friday nights. So yeah. Damien questioned him as to why he left mom at home as he walked back upstairs to the bathroom door. His dad seemed confused. Then he noticed at the bottom of the door, through the opening, two shadow outlines of feet standing by the door. Literally facing the door right on top of it. Then Damien's dad dropped the bomb and told him that his mother was right beside him at the table. He did the only logical thing he could do. He ran outside, hung up on his dad, and called the police. When Damien looked up to the bathroom window, he saw the light turn off. Ten minutes of hiding in the bushes later, he heard the police out front, who in the end, found nobody in the house. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. It's spooky month. It's a contractual obligation. And it's funny. Anyway, so there you go, guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, the Shadow. Well, that, that's got to be like a true story because shit like that happens all the time. All right. So, yeah. So I do hope you guys enjoyed the story. Uh, like this video. Subscribe. Definitely cl click on Dunbray's channel. He does these things, like quite a few of them. They're pretty awesome the way he does them. Though the thing, the guy telling the story or who wrote the story is like the trunk of his truck. Um, bruh. A truck doesn't have a trunk. It has a bed. Anyway, so I'll see you guys next time. Tune in every day for new content. Bye-bye, and happy Halloween.